Hi guys, you're very welcome along to um, video, I think, number 21 at this stage. Uh, okay, we've done a kind of range of things. We've done a couple of breakfast dishes, we've done a couple of lunch dishes, and a couple of evening dishes, okay? Again, another item that's, you know, very reasonably priced in the butchers, is absolutely full of iron, and is super, super tasty if it's cooked properly. If you leave it on the pan for a day and a half, it's going to be like a beer mess. No need for it. it uh, a piece of liver, cut nice and thin, you can see how thin that's cut there. That will take about three minutes to cook, okay? So, um, basically, sauté lamb's liver with some bacon or rasher and some grilled onion with a little bit of gravy, a little bit of mashed potato underneath it. Absolutely superb dinner, so it is. It's cheap as chips and as tasty as anything, okay? So, uh, people say, oh, I can't feel that, I can't touch liver and I can't, like, don't like sex liver now. If you don't, you, you, you can use the tongs to put it into your flour. You can um, use a fork if you don't have tongs at home. Just catch it and lift it up into your flour or whatever, okay? So like, I mean, there's no need to, if you don't want to, uh, like the texture of it, and don't like touching it, you don't have to touch it, okay? So basically, slice down some onions. And over there. Okay, so I like to put uh, my liver into some flour, okay, because it gives a nice little coating, a nice little uh, kind of crust on it. Um, if there's celiacs in the house, you can use celiac flour. Uh, gluten-free flour, whatever you want, a little bit of corn flour if you want, or if look, if you don't use flour at all, you don't have to. Just, uh, just put. In, I like to use a hot pan, but when you put it on without the flour, kind of, it might, um, it might kind of burn kind of fast on you. So just keep an eye on that or whatever. Okay. So I'm going to move over to the, the pan now and I'll show you how easy it is to make, how fast it's made. You can get your butcher to slice your, um, slice uh, your liver. Okay. I actually got these uh, rashers today. You know, you go into the supermarket now and you buy the packs of rashers and like the wafer thing you could read a book through it. I got these today in my local butchers here, Boyle Butchers in Dunlow. And you can see nice thickness in the rasher, the cutting themselves, you know. So like, I mean, that's another thing to keep in mind, you know. If you're going to spend the money on rashers, you know, you might as well get a good one type thing, you know. There's many different types out there, okay. So I'll cook this now for you. Okay, guys, with the, with the liver, like, I mean, if you're cooking, say, for five or six people and you want to give a rash each, cook off all your rashers beforehand and leave them to one side. I'm only doing one portion here to show you, like, I mean, you get two portions out of this pan or whatever, okay? But if you're cooking more, just plan ahead. Cook your rashers first, then cook your onions, and then cook your liver or whatever, okay? And then just leave them into, to one side or into an oven, and they'll all come together for you, okay? So basically, I'm doing one portion here, so a little bit of oil on the pan. Again, you can see the pan is nice and hot. First that goes on is the bacon. Okay, that goes in there. I have my liver done into the flour like that. I'm just going to turn it around. All it is a bit of seasoned flour, salt, cracked black pepper. Okay, so that's done in there. Leave that to one side. I make my rashers just to get a bit of um, coating first. Yeah, it's lamb's liver we're really using there today. This is the pork product, so you want to make sure that you know it is cooked properly. You know, when you put in the, um, the liver into the pan now with the flour on it, it, it does have, uh, there isn't much oil in that pan, okay? But the flour will absorb it, so you might have to add another little bit later on, okay? So I'll turn that there. Okay, next on is my onions. Around there. You hear that there sizzle in a nice hot pan. You know, and the thing about this is it's so easy to make. You don't have to come in, you don't have to be prepping vegetables for ages, and you don't have to be, you know, getting organized and thinking about it. You know, it's in, you have livers in the bag already cooking your butcher, so your rashes are home with this. Slice off your onion. Okay, shake off the excess flour like that, okay? Onto your pan. And liver is so nutritious. It's full of iron and it's super tasty. Okay, onto all this now I'll put a little bit of cracked black pepper and a little bit of sea salt. You know, with that, you, you need a little oil in the pan that's going to cook. That's what actually cooks the, 
the food out to you type thing, you know. Um, I myself like to add in small bit of butter at the end before we serve. Um, you can see the onions coming together there, getting a nice brown colour on them. The rashers are here. Like if you see how the rashers are kind of staying, like the, the ones in the, in the water, uh, the ones in the shop contain a, a lot of um, like kind of salted water, sodium, they're pumped for that or whatever. And you can see the white bits going around the pan. With these you don't, because they were freshly cut rasher, okay? See a nice little brown there from the flour. And I find if you like your liver well done, that's no problem at all. Like, I mean, you can put it into the oven for four or five minutes, but you don't need to cook liver for half an hour. Do you know? Like, the smells there now are absolutely awesome out of that, okay? It does look good. Another bit of cracked black pepper on this side again, because I just turned them over. A little bit of sea salt. I put a little bit of oil because it was dried up. Don't be afraid, like, so, cause, uh, you can hear it sizzling now there again. Because if it's on a dry pan, all it'll do is kind of, it'll sit there, it'll cook eventually for you, but you need the kind of oil on it to, um, to make it cook right through. Like this, uh, kids will come to me and say, no, I don't like liver. So I've never tasted liver, never tasted liver like this. Like, I mean, if it's overcooked, yeah, it's not that nice. I actually love liver. Okay, because most of our dishes so far have been really healthy now, the other one people self indulgent and put down just a few knobs of butter there. Put on top of liver, some on top of onions, okay? You can see how that's sizzling out there now. I have a little bit of gravy I made here earlier. Again, it's just ordinary gravy, no airs and grace about it. I'll plate this up. Now, from putting that into the flour and talking to you has taken about six minutes in total. And the dinner is ready. Okay? Like, I mean, kids, maybe one piece of liver will do them. You know, whatever. Whatever they want themselves. Okay, that's their focus. Go, I'm going to turn up the pan. I'm going to take down my plate. Put my place here. Put a little bit of mashed potatoes in the center of the plate, like that. Okay, first on goes my liver. Next goes my grilled rasher. Next goes my gravy. Lastly goes my onions. Okay. As you can see, nice meal. Uh, very nutritious, substantial. You have your mash, you got your three slices of liver, you got two slices of bacon, and you got your onions on top. If it's kids, like you feed three kids out of the three slices of liver, one slice of bacon each, fine, and a few onions, a bit of mashed potato. You can see how tasty, and that's actually. You know, it's, it's a smashing dinner, so it is. It's cheapest chips to do. Like, I mean, you'll buy your whole liver for three or four euros, you know, and um, you get maybe about eight portions out of, the, out of a good liver, okay? Thanks, guys.